What's happening guys? Gav, Valley Tarantulas. Um, right today guys, another bit of an update video sort of. Once again, it's Monday, we're feeding. Um, yeah, started feeding. Hold on, we might have an attack with a green bottle blue now. Just from spurting out. There is food in there for it. No? Maybe? Anyway. anyway um, yeah, got a couple of things to do guys. First things first, I've uh, come home and noticed we have this little fella. That is my juvenile LP. Obviously, there is another Rios coming after this thing is molded. It's been in pre-mold for about, I don't know, probably two months, I expect, even at that size. We have another mold. I don't know if you can see the back legs up there. This is my, um, well, that's the Latin name there. It is a Red Island Bird Eater, it is. Common name. So, yeah. And uh, the big problem we have, guys, is. Uh, sorry, I was looking at this red. The big problem we have, guys, is um, this. We have serious, serious mold. There's a full carpet of mold all the way down through in there. Now, I saw this coming on, uh, I think it was three or four days ago, maybe a week ago. Um, so, I dumped a lot of springtails and bits and bobs in there because, as you can see, this is a bioactive tank. Look, it's even down in here. Which is absolutely ridiculous. This is literally, if I checked on it, it was all right. It was, I thought the springtails were sorted out, nah, but no, obviously not. So, got the news is this is all gonna have to be chucked out. Apart from the skull and the water bowl. But yeah, everything else I will throw out. So, uh, yeah. What I'm gonna do is, guys, I only feed half and half. I normally feed the one rack. Let me do this rack tomorrow, so I'm gonna fly through that rack as fast as I can. Obviously, I'll give you a view of the, uh, the freshly molded. What was it again? Red Island Bird Eater. Latin name is just massive. Yeah, and then I'll get this enclosure down and we'll, uh, we'll just rip it all up. I've got a bag of substrate here, so it's, it isn't gonna go back bioactive because I haven't got any um, balls put in there, to be honest with you. Any clay balls or anything like that. Or membrane, so it's gonna have to go back as standard, which is a bit getting. Hopefully at the BDS yes, I can pick some bobs up to sort it out, but yeah. Sweet, I'll carry on and I'll see you guys in a minute. Peace. Hey guys, as I said, this is the uh, the Red Island Bird Eater. That is the Latin name. I'm not even gonna have a go at it. Antrochromatis, something like that. Anyway, yeah, it's molded. Let's have a little look. The colours are absolutely stunning on this, guys. What a beautiful, beautiful tea. There you are, guys. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. There's the mold there. Absolutely stunning. Look at the purple. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, guys. So as you all know, guys, we won't be feeding this one today at all. But in the box next to it, let's just zoom you all the way back out. So you've got a habit of not doing that. Mm. Let's do the old uh, traditional. Ooh. She's definitely just molded. She's very soft. She's moving her legs, I can tell. It's fine though, but I'll put you back to bed. Don't worry. Right. She has water. She will be happy. Hopefully it's a she and sex. If I set you guys up here now, in this one, guys, if you remember from last week's video, this is the Kluji. Lassiodora Kluji or Klugai? C-L-U-G-I. Klugai, I think it is. Kluji. This, uh, this molded last week. I pulled the mold out. So this should be ready for food now, guys. So. Absolutely stunning to you. Hey, you little bugger. He went for a run, but we got him. Right. This is always going to pee, is eh? Oh, buddy. Come on now. Cool down. on his head. I thought they took the mould out guys but I haven't. Here's the mould. So, what that over there. 
Now this could go wrong. I don't know if you guys can see, let's go this way just in case you can't. Why do these things do this? Boom, there you go guys. I'm actually gonna give it two of them. They're um they're actually large locusts as you've seen, but I'll give it to you as molded. So we have a runner volunteer number two on the drop. One, two of them. Yeah, there she is, guys. Oh, she or he, I haven't sexed it again, but stunning species. Oh, what's happening? Oh, well, maybe there's one, too. Sweet. Just fill the water bowl up, guys, and there. Uh, on to the next bit. Leave the other locust in there, it's obviously going to take it at some point. And locusts are no threat to the teas. So, yeah. Sweet! On to the next bit. Right then guys, here it is, the enclosure. In here, this is the mold one. You're seeing me, look at that in there. What is all that about? I've never had this problem before. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's getting, so I've got to check everything out. But there we are. Let's just start by taking the skull out. I'll give that a wash. Okay, right. I'm going to check the coat bark. I'm going to check the lot out. I'm just hoping now that this scorpion is alive. Uh, I haven't actually seen it for that. As you don't see them very often anyway, but um, yeah, obviously as I've done my research, this mold is not the best, so the scorpion is under here where it was last located, so that's all I'm kicking all the bloody mushrooms in here and everything, man. Fuck, you know what's happening? Sorry about my language, guys, I don't normally swear, but that's not really... There is the scorp. Sweet, that's looking good anyway. Let's get it out. And see if we have got uh, food in business. Okay, um, where am I going to put you to now? It's my pad. There's the pad. But they would that be you guys here, I think. Yeah. Sweet. Always room, don't we? Sweet. Right. Try and do this as much as you can see it, guys. Obviously, in a harvestphere, it's not the easiest thing. Let the scorpion is alive, it's moving around, so that's fine. What I have got here, guys, is a big black bag that I've just been chucking my jam and rubbish in as I've been going along. Um, everything's just going to go straight in this bag, to be honest with you. It's sad because this is a lovely piece of cork bark, but as you can see, I just blocked your view with the bag. Sorry, guys. What a peen eye. As you can see, guys, it is not good. We could boil it, I suppose, and try and save it, but we won't be doing that today. Let's get rid of it. Right. Come on in, ready go. Come on, old buddy. Let's play you out and make this a lot easier for me. Come on, oh, you can. There you go, come on. Come on. No, this is a big, big Asian forest scorpion, guys. Um, not saying it because it's my own, but it did generally seem to have or pick up big teeth. That is Bumping in it. I need a catch cut. Right, temporary housing until I sort this out.
Let me like said before, guys, this. Trying to give you a true representation, representation of it. There it is, guys. Is anybody who's any good at sex in scorpions? What is that? I have no idea. But yeah, as you can see, guys, it's, uh, it's pretty big. Excuse me. One of the biggest I've seen. I'm glad this leg after that in there, so let's plonk you back here, guys, a sec. Sorry if the camera's a bit pop a minute. <laughs> I'll give you an idea of how big he is, guys. You should have all seen this. And all in the same one of these tabs here. Yeah. You all know the size of these. Yep, yep, yep. And obviously, that is the scorpion in the tab. As you can see, it's pretty large and very pissed off. But yeah. It's looking fine, though. No? It is definitely looking fine. Sweet. Stay in there a minute. Stay there, but we don't be able to wait. Sweet. But anyway, um, plan time next is I'm just going to take us down upstairs. Out, upstairs? Outside. Pardon me. And do it out there because I'm in my bedroom and I don't want to mess anyway. So, I will see you. Alright, here we are, guys. In my beautiful back garden. Puppy. Right. To be honest with you guys, I forgot that he was in my pocket. Um, what I did, I come down, I've, obviously as you can see, I've emptied the enclosure, I've washed it out, Jesse, you washed it out with uh, just tap water at the moment. I have over here, what I got, I have over here, Exoterra glass cleaner. Yeah, I'm going to warm a load of that in there with boiling water, guys, and uh, give it a good scrub. So obviously this mold shit is nasty. So yeah, let's... Uh, Check you over here a minute. What I do with this, guys, I do just blob a load around the rag and rub the rag around in it. If you actually use this, you have to wash it off properly. It will kill your transfers otherwise. Sorry if you see my bum in there. Right, sweet. Uh, just gonna give it a swirl around now guys basically and uh, that's it then yeah I'll, uh, I'll be we'll be back in the room i'm literally just gonna tip that out of there now give it a swirl around and then tip it out over the fence uh give it a good wipe out with a towel and uh yeah we'll be back in the room so sweet see you tomorrow guys. right sorry guys i've uh, I'm a bit carried away today obviously we're back in the room all i've done is added substrate it's the same as what in there if you've seen it before this is what i use guys this forest it's pretty good actually by all like forest um comes with anything in there does really do the job for the stormies and everything 
So yeah, basic setup, nice deep substrate, a couple of inches in there for him, as you can see. I've made a new hide out of this uh, uh, plant pot because obviously the other one was completely perfect. So, that's that guys, I've washed the water bowl, the water bowl can go back in. This, his little skull can go in, that's how the swill as well. And there it is guys. You see, it's not as exciting as his other one, because the other one was actually bioactive, but uh, this would be absolutely perfect for him. Yeah, absolutely perfect and uh, problem solved. So, um, yeah, sweet. Awesome. But uh, that'll be the end of it for today, guys. Obviously, I have to feed this lot, but we won't bore you guys with that. Um, about a request for, I think it's Paul who asked for it. Um, for a Sturmy update on the Sturmies, I generally think it's down just with the Therophosa genus itself, the Blondie, the three Sturmies, and, or four Sturmies, and the Apoth. I've just fed the male, actually, I could have showed that, but uh, no, I'll do it all in one so you can see that. Paul, I'll try and get that. I'm sure, your name's Paul. If not, I'm sorry. I'll try and get that to you this week before we go to the BTS. Um, and yeah, the rest of you, I'll see you all in the hotel on Saturday. Don't know what time me and Mark are getting there. I'm waiting for him to sort his life out and do his A and we'll be there so uh, yeah like I said before guys if you see me in the show or whatever I'll have my hoodie on come up to me say hello shake my hand don't worry if I'm filming whatever tell me how much you like the channel you know what I mean if you don't like the channel come and tell me it's totally cool and yeah we'll uh, we'll see you all there so uh, yeah let's do it I'm Gav this is Valley's Tarantulas you guys are awesome Peace.